Okay, y'all. Time to make donuts. Hit it out to the track. So I'm just gonna record my day today. All right. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> We're going to start off by having prayer, you guys. And in this prayer, Father, we just lift our voices and our hearts to you this morning, Lord. We just thank you, O oh God, for being you, for being awesome, for being who you are. Lord, we exalt your name because there's no other name given where men might be saved and that is the name of Jesus. We thank you for your awesome name because in your name is healing, in your name is salvation, in your name is power and deliverance. God, we praise you on today. We thank you for another day. It's a wonderful day. Why? Because you are still on the throne and you're still in control. And we just love you on today, oh God. And we ask you to order our steps, oh God. Order our steps, order our hearts, oh God. Keep us from the enemy keep us from deception keep us from being distracted and on this day god we just love you and we magnify your name because you are great and you're worthy to be praised and we thank you and we give you all the praise in jesus name amen okay y'all it's thursday morning back out here putting one foot in front of the other okay it's a beautiful sight again I didn't record yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to do it every day, y'all. I may, I may not. But, um, just wanted to come on. I'm still in the same get up. I wore my shirt that says fit for the fight. Uh, that we received at a women's conference some years ago. Put my hair up and little twist pigtails. Don't have my lashes, but got to go get them back today because I got to go to work tonight. So anyway, I just wanted to share a little something with y'all. Um, I just passed um, this man. He was two men. They were just walking. They just passed me. And I'm going to turn the camera around, y'all. Because it hurt my arms. But anyway, I just passed these two men that were walking. Both of them had bottles of water. And one man, he was smoking. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, he walking and smoking. So... You know, and the Holy Spirit let me know, yeah, sometimes you just have to go on ahead. Even though you may have an addiction, even though you may have a problem, I don't care what it is. Just go on ahead, going towards right. Amen. You know, the Bible says, come as you are. Come as you are, and in the coming, as you coming along, as you go on the service as you pray as you meditate on the word as you continue to go in the direction of right whether you got a cigarette in your hand uh, um, 
Now, wait a minute, let me, let me say something. I'm talking about baby saints now. I'm talking about people that you feel the nudge of God. You're not saved. You're not in church or, you know, you're just not born again yet. But you feel the call of the Lord pulling you towards righteousness. Now, I ain't talking about those that's been saved 15, 20 years. We're going to take you out to the woodshed and beat you, okay? <laughs> okay, because there's some things you ought to be delivered from by now. All right, anyway, ain't nobody mad at that but the devil. So let me go on. But anyway, as I was saying, um, you have to, even though the man may be smoking and walking, at least he's, he's out here exercising. He's going in the direction of being healthy. So what I'm saying to you is, don't try it. A lot of people try to put down stuff. You know, I'm going to come to God when I get cleaned up or I'm going to do this when I do this. No. Come on. I'm going to tell you what. Bring your cigarettes. Bring your Budweiser, your reefer, your cocaine, your sexual... Bring it all. Because I promise you, the work that was done on the cross, baby, it will suffice. Oh, yes, it is. God is a deliverer. He will free you up from bondage. Anything that you kept to here, free up. Bring it on. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you what. If you put it down, you'll pick it back up. But I tell you what, when you get the power of the Holy Spirit dwelling on the inside of you, hey, you'll be like Paul when he met Jesus on the road to Damascus. Amen. You'll never ever be the same. And I don't care what nobody say. I can testify to that myself. You'll never ever be the same. But get on the path of righteousness. Don't worry about what you're going through right now. Those of y'all that feel the call of the Holy Spirit tugging on you, calling you into the body of Christ, not into the church. Now, you can attend some of the services. It's all right. But those of you that feel God calling you unto his body, go ahead and tell him yes. Amen. Don't worry about, well, I don't want to be playing with God. I don't want, let me tell you something, baby. You better play with him. Because sometimes it's in the playtime that you sure enough get saved. Amen? Amen. So, that just blessed me. You know, not trying to, you know, a lot of times we do try to be judgmental of people. And we see them doing this and see them doing that. But hey, come as you are. Come as you are. Bring it on. And like I said, the work on the cross is sufficient, honey. There's power in the word. It'll redeem your soul. It'll clean you out. I promise you it will. All right, so I think I'll talk long enough. I'll see y'all in a few. Okay, y'all. Y'all, this man, we get ready to pass on this bicycle. I don't know how old this man is. He might be 80. He look like he might be in his 80s to me, but he is out here every morning. Whenever I stop and come back, he's still here. So I want y'all to see him right quick. Good morning. How are you? Yes, honey. He is out here every morning riding that bike. Thank God, good. All right. And y'all, I don't know how far I'm going to actually be walking today because it didn't get light about 7. So I literally had to wait to 7 to come walk, which I was going to do it at 6, but it was too dark. But anyway, um,. Cause I gotta be back at the house by eight, and it used to take me an hour and a half. And I gotta be back at the house by eight, cause my daughter got to go to work. But um, I'm gonna do as much as I can. All right. Sneakers you're wearing now. Huh? I like them sneakers you're wearing. Oh, thank you, thank you. I love colors, hun. I like to be bright. Too cool, <laughs> honey. I love them. Well, thank you. Hey, little fella. Shut hey. Up, He's just trotting along. Hey, you feel my voice. The ones that just went by? Uh huh, uh huh. In the orange shirt? Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, guys, come on. <laughs> if he can get way ahead of you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, dog, oh, dog, my goodness. Say hey. Say hey there, YouTube. How are you? He's so friendly. <laughs> he is so friendly. Yes, he is. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. I'll be chocolate. Yeah, I love to walk with my mama. Yes. <laughs> Y'all been doing this for a while too. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet he be up and ready, don't he? Oh, the minute I step foot? Yeah, he ready. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, hurry up. Put your clothes on because I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Well, y'all have a good day. You too. Okay, y'all. Like I told y'all, I got the, um, see what time it is? It's 743. Yeah. 743 and I got a um I got to uh be back at the house by 8 so oh, my daughter got to uh, drop my car I got to drop my car off but um so I'm probably gonna have to end my walk 30 minutes because it takes me about an hour and a half really to get this walk done so but I'm gonna get something done um yeah, but probably once I get up here, I'll turn around and walk back. Since it's, it's, you know, it's 7, it's 724 now. So, it's taking me about 30 minutes to get almost halfway, I guess. So, once I, um, Lord, they all the way about around that curve. Child, her and that little dog can walk, you hear me? They can walk. But, um, whew. Yeah, once I get up here, I'm going to have to turn around because I got to be back to the house on time. All right. All right, y'all. So, y'all going to get to meet Mr. Bobby today, too. So, we'll go over there and uh, let y'all meet Mr. Bobby if he ain't scared about being on YouTube. But we'll see. All right. Okay, y'all. It's 7.30. What I'm going to do, y'all, right quick, I got to go ahead and turn around now. Because it's going to take me 30 minutes to get back. You see that red pole right there? That say emergency. Just in case somebody... It say emergency. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to run from here to here. Okay? All right. Here we go. Now, this ain't too far. So that won't too far of a little job. But hey, every little bit hell. Alright, okay. So yeah, this is on the trails, you know. Somebody have a problem, they can press that button and somebody come get them. Okay, alright. So let me run back. That won't too bad. Just a little try. Just get my heart rate up just a tidbit, okay? Oh Lord. But anyway, I'm a beginner. So you know. That right there sort of gets my heart rate going a little bit but the most important thing is do what you can do do what you can do you know that's what I say just get it in so I'm getting mine in this morning so I'm on my way back oh let me share this with y'all um last night and I'm gonna turn the camera around cuz my arms tired okay so anywho last night y'all when I um you know, I was going through my cravings last night, but I want you, I did tell y'all earlier though, that I did not go out and get anything. I didn't eat anything. I just fell on off to sleep, and I thank God for that. My last thoughts was McDonald's before I went to bed. It was, but um, I just fell on off to sleep, and I thank God for that. I thank God for that victory, because I know a couple of days ago, I would just got up and went and done what I had to do. Um, and I also thank you guys for all of your comments. Y'all told me to drink water, eat salads, chew gum. Um, and you know, you're right. All those things are good. And I do appreciate it. But I'm not so much dealing with the healthy choice um, part of this exercise. I already, I know. And... And I know y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying for y'all not to give me advice. No. But I'm not so much dealing with the exercise part. I'm not so much dealing with, oh, I don't know what to eat part. I know what to eat. I know what foods are dangerous. I can get out here and exercise, walk three miles. 
what I'm going through and I think what's hindered me a lot is the addiction that I've been eating bad food for so long that my body is addicted to the harmful chemicals and so what I'm actually gonna have to do is a purging of the bad chemicals you know how you resist the devil and he'll flee uh, walk in the spirit you know just like the more when you build your spirit man up your flesh man die so what I'm in the process of doing and what my challenge is right now is going through the getting the poisons out of my body you know I don't know if any of y'all ever been addicted to crack or any type of drugs but it's the same I'm going through the phase of getting the poisons out of my body so you know y'all just pray with me for that I'm just gonna have to suffer through you know it's like labor pains you got to suffer through honey so I'm gonna have to suffer through until the poisons get out of my body and with the help of the Lord I can do all things and it won't be long it really won't so uh that's what I'm going through you guys but I do appreciate your comments everything y'all said was right it is right but um I'm going through that aspect of my exercise my body is so full of poisons and so full of junk for many many years of just poor eating you know and those foods are addictive that's why we keep buying them and that's why we live in our bed at night craving them okay so I just wanted to um let y'all know that okay y'all on your way back huh <laughs> okay. I got huh? I got blisters. You got blisters on your foot? Yeah, my second Say hey, y'all. <laughs> uh, my second day walking, so. Okay, well, it's my third. It'll get better. Yeah, I it will. So. It will get better. Y'all be encouraged. Okay. So, um, those are the guys I was telling y'all about. I, you know, that just come through. You know, that was um smoking or whatever but he got blisters on his feet and he's still walking bless his heart see you got to go on ahead blisters and all you got to go ahead because my knees be popping y'all these knees right here they bees are popping but um what was i saying but in, oh yeah anyway that's what i'm going through right now y'all that's what i'm going through big challenge me. getting this poison out of my system but i'm gonna get it out it's got to come out hey man Amen. Lord, I'm going to see y'all in just a little bit. I'm going to upload this here, y'all. And uh, go ahead and start doing my own um, in a day in a life, okay? All right. Y'all be blessed. Mwah, mwah, mwah.